Have you ever stayed at the resort rated number one in the United States by Condé Nast Traveler? The five-star, five-diamond Pelican Hill is situated on 500 acres above the coastline between Newport Beach and Laguna Beach in Southern California. It offers panoramic views from its 204 bungalow guest rooms, 128 villas, and 36 dramatic golf holes designed by Tom Fazio. So when we got the opportunity to spend five nights in their sprawling villas for more than 32 grand below retail, we had to see if this iconic resort lives up to the hype. Welcome to one of our two villas, and it feels right at home with this big comfy living room and fireplace. You can get all cozy at night with cocktail because you have a full kitchen as well. Oven, range, microwave, uh, all the coffee supplies that you'd need, refrigerator, toaster, and all of the plates and pots and pans, anything you need if you wanna cook a meal here. And also makes it really convenient if you order in-room dining, because you can do that through some of their restaurants they have on the property. This table is actually a six top because there are two additional chairs over by the desk. And you can really dine al fresco if you wanted to bring some chairs out here because this is a nice little patio, got a good breeze coming in here, and so many olive trees. Each one of our villas comes with a private single car garage. Right off the entrance is a powder room, which is great because then you don't have to go through either of the bedrooms to get to the ensuite. Colt's staying in this second bedroom over here. It has two queen beds, two closets, and a really big bathroom. Tub, shower, double sinks, the whole bit. The master is super spacious. It has a really big king size bed, a big TV with sound bar. These two closets are hanging closets, so great for storage, and this walk out patio. It's got a beautiful garden out here and plenty of privacy with this hillside. Desk over here if you wanna get some work done, like we do, we always work when we travel. And the bathroom is really big and nice too. It's got a huge bathtub, we took one last night, and double sinks, private toilet, big old shower, and the lotion and shampoo smells really good. I always wanna point out the washer and dryer. So if you need to do a little laundry, there you go. Now normally, to get two of these villas, it would cost about $35,000. That's the value associated with them. But we only paid $2,500 because we booked through our travel club Inspirato. It's a subscription-based program where we're paying $2,500 a month and we're going to amazing resorts like this and we're having luxury vacations that we never thought we could without Inspirato. So if you wanna learn more about that, go to followabc.com slash pass. The Villa Clubhouse is great because it's exclusively for guests who are staying in the North and South Villas. In our experience, that translates into much smaller crowds. Aaron and I are both hitting the gym daily, and we've had to share it with one or two other guests max. The pool area with its main pool, smaller waiting pool, and jacuzzi has been equally open this week, with only a handful of other guests showing up at all. So plenty of primo lounge chairs, tables, umbrellas, and cabanas for everyone. And with several staff scurrying about at all times, it's easy to get towels, cocktails, and delicious food delivered to your seat in no time. We love the covered lounge area that let us work poolside while still sitting at tables in the shade. There's actually a dining room at this clubhouse, but it still has an open back up following the pandemic shutdown. But with this beautiful weather, we'd rather eat outside anyway. All right, let's head down to the beach. First things first, we're gonna get a ride. We have this nifty little button here for Inspirata members, like us. One o'clock, that's fine. gave us these beach bags from the resort. So we've got towels and water and uh, we brought our own sunblock, of course. Gotta protect that skin. I think that was the first time I've ever seen him not catch a lizard. <laughs> what a beautiful beach. Such a cute little area with these shacks and uh, restaurants and bars. And we heard really good things about some of the, the food here too. But the water looks gorgeous. The weather is perfect. It's California living at its best. We love California. Crystal Cove State Park is one of Orange County's largest remaining examples of open space and natural seashore. It's 3.2 miles of beach, 2,400 acres of backcountry wilderness, and an offshore underwater area. 
It also features the federally listed historic district, which is an enclave of 46 vintage, rustic coastal cottages, originally built as a seaside colony in the 30s and 40s, and nestled around the mouth of a Los Troncos Creek. Hey, I am just texting the resort to tell them we're ready to go, and they're gonna send a shuttle. They're gonna take us straight to the villa. It's dinner time, so we're taking the free Pelican Hill shuttle all the way from our villas down to the very bottom of the resort to the golf clubhouse for a place called Pelican Grill. We're actually celebrating Brooklyn's birthday today. Our big girl's turning 11. We're having her birthday dinner. Thank you. I hate to say this, but our meal was pretty so-so considering the mediocre flavors and high prices. But with the lingering effects from the COVID closures, the on-resort dining options are pretty limited. Nevertheless, this would be a convenient place to grab a meal after playing 18 holes because we're in the same building as the pro shop, golf pavilion, and practice facility. The main resort clubhouse is the epicenter of the resort. The main entrance and valet court house what I would estimate to be above 10 million in total car value at any given time. This is also where you access the main resort fitness center and renowned five-star spa that's almost as popular as the resort's golf program. We're not going to be partaking in any spa services during this stay, but since that's a big part of what Pelican Hill is known for, we're confident that few guests ever leave disappointed. In typical times, the dining program at Pelican Hill is world class, but here again, they seem to be taking their time opening the restaurants back up. Aside from Pelican Grill and the dining room at the Villa Clubhouse, the main clubhouse is home to a great alfresco poolside restaurant that's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as the signature restaurant, Andrea, offering Northern Italian cuisine. Word on the street is that it's fantastic, so we're disappointed that it's closed for our stay. When you need something quick and easy, the cafe and market is perfect. Sandwiches, pastries, confections, and caffeine-based bevies that you can take with you or enjoy at any of the tables and sitting areas around here, which frankly offers some of the best views and atmosphere anywhere on property. You should definitely spend some time at the iconic Coliseum Pool, which is one of the largest circular pools in the world. There's fantastic service, even if you're not paying thousands extra for one of these cabanas, which are the nicest we've ever seen. If you're interested in Pelican Hill primarily for an upcoming event, whether that's a small corporate get-together or something like a larger wedding, the resort has 23,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor function space in the form of conference rooms, ballrooms, terraces, and lawns. And if you find yourself in need of a little extra wardrobe while you're here, Allegra Boutique is the most modernly stylish resort clothing shop we've ever seen. Men's and women's clothing that won't make you look like Tommy Bahama threw up on you. Oh, and they also have a gift shop. The Ocean North and Ocean South courses at the Pelican Hill Golf Club are world-class experiences that you have to play, or at least see, to believe. With a quarter century of accolades and accomplishments on the scorecard, it's described as some of the most spectacular in golf. Would we recommend Pelican Hill for your upcoming travel? Even with the current culinary limitations, absolutely. It's a beautiful, well-maintained, fantastically staffed resort that's a great getaway whether you're a golfer or not. It's high class, but family friendly, and nestled in a gorgeous coastal location that offers endless dining, shopping, and entertainment options for those few times that you feel like you need to leave the Pelican bubble. Two years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week, from our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. Because there's a new American dream. It's one that's void of templated expectations, templated career paths, templated education, templated families, templated homes, and templated lives. Freedom's no longer American tagline. It's just the new global way of life. Every day that you spend doing something that doesn't fulfill you to your core, you're living your life on pause. You're deferring genuine family time with no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow or a someday. Some people follow that mentality their entire lives. We've chosen to never live that way again. We appreciate you following our journey. The more our channel grows, the more time we can spend traveling to more locations, contributing to these cultures, highlighting local businesses, and sharing inspiring stories from these communities. So please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that you can stick with us for the long haul.